Hey there, in this video we are going to look at uh, how to uh, draw the graph of a quadratic function if you're given its equation in vertex form. Let's do that right now. All right, to sketch the graph of a function that's given in vertex form like that, we need to think about the values of the various parameters here. And often they're called a, h, and k. We're going to first look at the h and the k here. We have h value being negative 1, because it says x plus 1 in here, but we're going to think of it as negative 1, x minus negative 1. That actually causes that entire graph to move 1 to the left. And then we have our value of k here, which is minus 3. That actually is going to cause the whole graph to be translated down. Three. So we're going to use that fact to start drawing this because every point, including the vertex, is going to be that. We know the vertex without those values would be at 0, 0. So then all we need to do is start 1 to the left and 3 down and put our vertex right there. All right. Now, then it's time to focus on this value of A in front here. The fact that it's a 2 is going to tell us two things. For starters, since it's positive, means the whole graph opens up and the fact that it is 2 and not 1 means that the entire graph is going to be vertically expanded by a factor of 2. So if this value was a 1 instead of a 2 and it hadn't been vertically expanded by 2 then we would just have our standard pattern of perfect squares, right? 0, 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, and so on. And of course it's symmetric on the other side. All right, that would be our that would be our usual thing, but it's not. It's expanded by 2. So each of those heights, instead of 1, 1, it's 1, 2, twice that high. Same on the other side. Instead of 2, 4, we've got 8. We've got 2, 8. And the same on the other side. And then 3, 9 would be 3, 18 off our screen, so we won't worry about that one. And we'll just go with those points that we have in blue. Get rid of all this other stuff. And that's going to give us our, our graph. All right? This will be twice as tall. And we'll try and do a nice smooth curve through these points. Try and make it look somewhat like the shape it would be. That's a quick sketch of that graph and how those three things affect it. Let's try one more. We'll try and create the graph of this the same way. So we'll look at our values of these parameters here again. We have h is 4, x minus h, and we have k is 1. So this means that this is going to be, it's going to have gone to the right by 4, and it's going to have gone up 1, the entire graph, including the vertex. So we'll locate that vertex now, 4 to the right, 1 up, there's where the vertex is. And then you can look at the value of, uh, of a there, a is negative 1 quarter. The fact that that's negative 1 quarter, it's negative, means it opens down. And the fact that it is 1 quarter, it means it is going to be vertically compressed by a factor of 1 quarter. So to draw this, we're just going to draw it, making sure we put our distances down instead of up. And then thinking about the compression here, all our vertical distances are going to be divided by 4. A quarter of the vertical distances. So instead of 1, 1 squared, we're going to have a quarter of that distance. 1 over is going to give us only a quarter here. Right? Now that one's hard to kind of locate accurately. We'll put a dot roughly there. We won't do every one. We might do every other one because we're going to be able to do a lot of them on here. The next one will be a little easier to locate accurately. Normally 2, 2 squared is 4. We're going to go a quarter of that, so instead of putting that there, it's going to be here, 1 quarter of that distance, 1 instead of 4. And the same on the other side here. And then we'll do, you could do 3, 3 squared is 9. And then a quarter of 9, you could, you know, try and figure out it's 2 and a quarter. 
you can put that point there if you want or again you're going to be able to get the shape well enough just doing every other one the ones that divide nicely by four so i'm going to do four four squared would be 16 so we'd be normally 16 here instead we're going to go a quarter of that which is four so we're only going to go up to there and the same on the other side and then i'm going to do one more for the shape here i'm going to go we could do either five or six six squared 36 even when we divide that by four it's still on the graph right because instead of 36 all the way down to there it's going to be a quarter of that which is nine we can fit that on here easily right so nine is going to be right here nine it's going to be to there all right and then the same on the other side we can put that symmetric point on the other side and that's enough to get that shape right so we'll try and draw a smooth curve through all of that and that's your graph all right so that's two examples of sketching the graph of a quadratic function from its vertex form equation and knowing how those three parameters a h and k affect the graph